Mm -hmm. All right. And I've said this before on the program. I think that, you know, the government of Guyana, while talking about infrastructure, they should make, they should be focused a lot on modern infrastructural development in terms of um, mainframe systems, computer um, database systems as well, because you Incredible. need to have you need to have the, the police force, GRA, the immigration, um, you know, certain government institutions must be on up that date, yes. up to date so they can access including the judiciary because you mm. don't want you you want to be able to access information readily for example just the id card process all right that's the beginning of where that whole database can begin and from there every other thing is connected to that id card all right or that number as we have it so to have a digitized system in Guyana, I believe it would curb a lot of the corruption because mm -hmm. they will have in a digital way, um, data will show and you will have a unique passcode that allows you to access that data or Correct. to do that job. So once you have signed in, you are then held accountable at that time to of what is going on there in that office. So it's very difficult for somebody to slide you a 10,000 on the table and say, well, do this document for me. And you will have to then enter the, uh, your personal code to get into the system, to access that document, to then have something done to give it to that person. If something then comes up in court, they can easily go back to the records and say, well, yeah, yeah so you did this. At 9.30 in the morning, this morning, you logged in and you did this. You printed mm -hmm. that document as well. So you are then held accountable for that person having a document which really is tantamount to forgery. 